Hello and welcome to this live broadcast, Tavi head to head. We're going to talk about design, data, and directions for clinical practice. My name is Martin Zwaans and I'm a cardiologist from the St. Antonius Hospital in Nieuwegein in the Netherlands. And it's my pleasure to be completely surrounded by an excellent panel, female panel, uh, uh, with a lot of knowledge in the field. And uh, I have Marta Sitges from Hospital Clinic in Barcelona in Spain. The big blessings are from the Heart and Diabetes uh, Institute in, uh, in Bad Oeynhaus in Germany. And finally, Professor VJ Kunidian from the Newcastle University in the UK. So thanks a lot for joining me here today. And today's broadcast is supported by an unrestricted grant uh, from Medtronic and brought to you by Redcliffe Medical Education. And let's have a look at the learning objectives of today's program. So what we're going to do is we're going to recall the TAVI smart trial data because there was a lot of fuss about this and look at the implications on the clinical practice. We're going to describe novel valve designs and the impact on the long-term performance, which is coming more and more important. And finally, we're going to talk about development of an expert lead approach to improve an equality about access to TAVR. So, what important is, is we want you to interact with us. So there's a Q&A box below uh, where you can submit your questions throughout the uh, session. So, and we'll address these questions later on during the broadcast. So, but before we begin, there are two poll questions which I would like to show. They are underneath the video. So for you to vote, and we'll be discussing this, these two poll questions at the end. So uh, if you are in a full mode or full screen mode, you need to come out of this and we'll be able to vote. So the first one is, Paul, is what do you do when patients ask for the latest TAVI valve dur durability? So one, I know the data well and share it with my patient. Two, I Google it and share the information. Three, I provide my opinion based on personal experience. Or four, I refer that question to ask to the TAVI implanter. And the second poll, would like you to ask is which available tether durability data do you find the most relevant for your discussion to refer a patient for tether so one the evolute low risk four-year data two the notion 10-year data three the uk registry eight-year data already or four the core of evolute pool data five years so so please answer these questions and again we will get back to that later on so and now uh, I like to hand over the discussion to Marta Sitches, who will be providing an overview of the TAVI current status and devolved durability. So, Marta, the floor is yours. Thank you, 